Hi my dear spirited minds hope you all are doing great dear friends today is september 28th we are celebrating bhagat singh's birth anniversary dear friends we all know that bhagat singh is a famous freedom fighter and he is an inspiration to millions of indians in this regard i'd like to present you a brief bio sketch of famous freedom fighter bhagat singh Bhagat Singh was born in a patriotic family to Vidyavati and Krishna Singh as third son in a village called Banga of Lalitpur district near Punjab on 28 September 1907 his father's brothers Ajit Singh and Swaran Singh were actively participating in Indian freedom movement from them little bhagat inherited patriotism at the very young age the little brave bhagat singh when he was 3 years old walking on a field along with his father saw people sowing seeds in the field then he asked his father what they were doing his father told him that they were sowing seeds and that the seeds would sprout grow and bear fruits then bhagat singh asked his father whether guns also sprout and grow more guns astonished his father asked him why so many guns were needed then bhagat replied that he would use them to drive the britishers from the country from the childhood onwards he is a brilliant and active student he always stood as stopper in the class from the beginning he used to complete his lessons quickly and read the biographies of great personalities he developed great patriotic feelings by the time he completed his middle school later bhagat's father admitted him in a private hindu high school in lahore as he was not willing to send his son to a high school being run by the british management the teachers were surprised at the grasping abilities of the young bhagat singh during the year 1919 the tragic incident in indian history took place that is jallian wala bag massacre bhagat singh was deeply disturbed at the tragedy he determined that he should dedicate his life for the country and he should strive to drive the british away from his motherland to win freedom for his country when he was 13 years old he gave up his studies and with his father's permission joined the national movement he took part actively in boycotting foreign goods and clothes gandhi ji gave a call for non cooperation movement in 1922 when violent incident took place in chauri chaura gandhi ji called off the movement this saddened bhagat singh and he began to think when the british followed violent methods to suppress the movement why should we not also follow the same method to drive them away and he convinced that violent methods would produce quicker results and that armed fight was the only way to achieve success from then he studied the biographies of revolutionary leaders of ireland italy russia and other countries he joined lala lajpat rai's national college aimed to give arm training to youth for an armed revolution accepting the condition laid down by the revolutionary leader sachindranath sanyal bhagat set aside the thought of marriage he left lahore and reached kanpur he changed his name into balwant singh and took training as a revolutionary he went back to lahore and joined the revolutionary wing called navajeevan bharat he became its secretary this institution spread to many parts of the country within a short time the police arrested bhagat on the charge of having thrown bombs at dasara procession but the court released him on paying rupees 10000 by the way of fine two patriots by name duni chand and daulatram paid the fine and got him released bhagat singh took part in the convention of revolutionaries organized in 1928 He got acquainted with the Chand- with Chandrasekhar Azad who was a member of Hindustan Prajatantra Sangh and was inspired 
with a new strength and spirit. Later, the name of Sangh was changed to Hindustan Samajwadi Prajatantra Sangh. The goal of this Sangh was to establish democracy in India by armed struggle. Bhagat Singh went to Calcutta and received training in making and using bombs from Yatindranath Das. The British government appointed the Simon Commission in 1928, but a strong opposition against it started. In Lahore, thousands of Navajivan Bharat Sangh volunteers under the leadership of Lala Lajpatrai confronted the commission. The police could not protect the members of the commission to control the agitating Indians, British officer Scott ordered for Lati charge. An officer by name Saunders hit Lala Lajpatrai with Lati. This resulted in the death of Lala Lajpatrai. Bhagat Singh and Rajguru has, had decided to kill Scott. By mistake, they killed Saunders instead of Scott. Bhagat, Rajguru and Chandrasekhar Rajad escaped from the police. The government introduced two harmful bills in the Central Assembly which were rejected by the Assembly. The government thought of implementing them. The revolutionists planned to throw bombs during the Central Assembly meeting and got arrested voluntarily. Bhagat Singh and Bhatkeshwar Dutt were sent to Delhi with harmless bombs and the pamphlets. As soon as the Assembly commenced its proceedings, the bombs went off but no one killed. The assembly echoed with the slogans, Kranti Amar Rahe, Inquilam Zindabad. The two revolutionaries threw bombs, they threw down their pistols and surrendered voluntarily to the police. Later, the British seized the bomb factories located in Lahore and Shaharanpur. A revolutionary by name Jatindas went on a fast in the jail for 64 days and died for justice to be done to the prisoners. This was followed by Bhagat Singh, who went on fast for 32 days. The jail authorities assured that the prisoners would be treated with dignity and Bhagat gave up his fasting. During the period of trial, the two revolutionaries, Bhagat Singh and Bhattakeshwar Dutt, attended the court by giving slogans, Kranti Amar Rahe, Inquilab Zindabad. They told the country, sorry, they told the court they did not throw bombs to kill anyone, but did so to express their opposition to the British way of thinking. The British should leave India and that India should become an independent country. The court finally passed the verdict that both the revolutionaries should be hanged. Many appeals were made to government not to carry out the sentence, but the government did not heed the appeals from people. On 23rd March, the great heroes were hanged. The country paid her respects to the three brave revolutionary patriots, Bhagat Singh, Rajguru and Bhatkeshwar Dutt, who valiantly fought with the British and lighted the flames of patriotism in the hearts of Indians. Our country will never ever forget their sacrifices and will remember them forever. This is the brief life story of Bhagat Singh. Thank you for listening. This is Durga Ragunta signing off.